welcome dear students in today's lecture i will explain you about mouse programming in turbo c so how we can handle mouse in turbo c so why first of all why we require a mouse programming as you already know mouse has revolutionized the computer world reason being because nowadays you are working with large number of graphical user interface environment applications and to deal with such applications mouse is very much necessary or essential for the user interaction to click or to select icons to click buttons and so on so it is a simple input device which allows you to point and execute interface in a random and faster manner than the keyboard which provides sequential interface so user is a user feel troublesome while working on the keyboard because the mouse is has become very handy it is easy easy to switch from one place to another place by shifting the mouse and it is easy to select an item onto the graphical user interface using mouse so that is why we are using mouse so mouse programming is a topic which every c programmer needs to have in his toolbox to have a cutting edge so you must know how to handle a mouse how we can work or select an item using the mouse so you will find that it will be used almost everywhere when you are working with a any graphical user interface environment or but you are dealing here with within the dos environment that is disk operating system okay so in guis like windows mouse is very important for the user interaction and but in dos mouse will come into picture only in some of the programs when you are handling some of the event or you are generating or designing any graphics package using c functions so in that you will like to handle or you are you like to work with the mouse to select a particular picture or a icon or a menu so if you are writing dos games or graphics programs you can add mouse functionality or mouse interaction in your code so how we do that first of all let us understand the basic functioning and what are the different parameters and how we can find that we are interacting with the mouse so that understanding you must develop first so first of all we will see we communicate with mouse directly but through the driver provided a driver is provided to interact with the mouse so we interrupt the particular hardware we use interrupt values to access this driver that is we are going to access the mouse so we will generate an interrupt or we can say we can we will invoke an interrupt to find out to which device we are interacting so each device within a computer hardware system components each computer each component of the hard hardware will be provided with a unique address and that address is called a unique port address which is a hexadecimal value so every device that is in your computer system every component in your computer system is allotted with a unique port address and it is defined via hexa decimal value so it is designated to be an designed to be a machine independent enhancing portability of the program so wherever you will take a mouse wherever you will take a keyboard it will be having the same hexadecimal value okay we access these ports in our program so we can we can use we can generate the interrupts to access those port numbers to work with the with these hardware devices so mouse has port 0x33 that is written in hexadecimal value attached to it so this value will be used to work with the mouse similarly if we are working with a keyboard i have given example another hardware device that is keyboard so that is attached to the port that is 0x60 so this is the these are the unique ports of the hardware devices okay another thing that we when we will be working with uh, mouse that is we also make use of we also make use of this uh, address registers okay we also make use of address registers where the values of 
where the values of the mouse interaction will be stored okay so these are basically when we are talking about the address registers so these are the members of the union of type regs registers so we will define whenever we will be working with a mouse so we will be defining union okay we will be writing this union of type regs and this is defined in dos dot h okay so to access those variables we will be defining certain variables of type regs so we will see that so we use two registers to communicate to a device driver one for input and one for output so declaration will be something like if i'll type here only to make you understand declaration will be like we'll type union okay regs okay so this is union of type regs that is defined in dos dot h so we use two registers to communicate to a device driver so let's say it is in and it is out so these variables can be anything whatever you want to write i can write i comma o so that will be your choice okay so we use to in this manner we will be defining it so it is predefined that is union regs so we use two registers to communicate to a device driver for one for input and one for output to handle the output to give the input okay input can be like when we are just in giving the input as if when we are pressing the button that is when we are pressing a right click left click middle click likewise and when we are taking an output that is status is given for example what is the status okay so we you will understand when we will work with a certain program and the logic of it we may, when we send the value to the device driver through the input register and receive information in it embedded in output register so jab bhi hum koi value send karenge value to device driver through the input register okay when we are going to send so device driver go through the input register and whatever we will receive information it in it embedded in the, in the output register so we receive in the output and we'll give to the input register okay so now this is the important part that is the ax register so we access various mouse functions mouse functionality can be that we first of all we want to show we want to detect whether the mouse is available with this uh, uh, this um, device or not or with my pc or not so first of all we have to identify we have to detect the mouse okay that is one of the functionality we require while working with mouse first of all we have to check whether mouse is installed or not okay then we will look for that we have to show the mouse pointers that is so that the pointer is available on the screen that we are dealing with the mouse so this is another functionality we we require while working with the mouse another can be like we sometimes we have to hide the mouse in certain applications it is required that we want to hide the mouse so whenever we want to hide the mouse this is another service or the another functionality we require or sometimes we require that we have to restrict the mouse pointer within a specified region so that the functionality is limited within the limited region let's say if i if i draw a rectangle within this limited region the mouse will move okay but the major functionality exists that we must able to find the status which button has been clicked okay this is another function that we require okay so we must know that if i have clicked the button right of the mouse left of the mouse or we have clicked both of the buttons together like so there can be different button press condition may exist while dealing with the mouse and also where the where i have placed the mouse we must i must uh, be able to find out the location the mouse mouse pointer position where where i have place the mouse so that individually i should be able to know which position i am selecting okay so the button so these conditions these functionalities must be provided by 
through a mouse so we can access these functionalities with the help of ax register okay so we can access various mouse functions using different values of ax input okay if ax value is different then it is giving the different functionality okay so ax input register value will decide that you are dealing with which kind what kind of functionality of a mouse whether you are hiding a mouse whether you are showing a mouse whether you are restricting a mouse whether you are finding the button status or whether you are finding the position of the mouse okay so we can access various mouse functions using different values of ax okay values of ax that is a input register and passing those values to mouse port using a interrupt okay so these values will be passed to the mouse port using a interrupt okay so we will take a help of other registers and these are the members of the union rex that i have defined you that is defined in dos dot h okay that is defined in dos dot this is a header file you are aware of is dos dot h that is will define it is a header file so you will be using this header file while working with the mouse so these are the ax bx cx and dx are the members of union rex so we will use this register they have other functionalities we will discuss but this is the one major register that will help you to identify what kind of functionality you are dealing with if certain number is provided to it so let's see with the help of a table that a mouse offers different types of functionalities okay so so here i am just covering up the theoretical part in this lecture okay and i'll show you with the help of a program how these functions work so i have divided this lecture basically in two parts that is one part is covering up the functions performed that is get mouse status or a get mouse status show mouse pointer hide mouse pointer and the restrict mouse pointer so i'm going to cover in this lecture these four functions so when you are provided with ax is equal to 0 you are going to perform that you are going to find out that detecting the mouse basically you are performing get mouse status whether the mouse is installed or not so function will be this okay that is get mouse status whether the function you are going to check that mouse is installed or not so it will return a value if it returns ax value returns as 0 support is not available for for the mouse if if it returns this ax service returns the all fff thing, then support is available with the ax value so with the help of a ax zero service we can find out that whether the mouse is initialized or not or installed or not then when when it is ax is set to 1 when ax is set to 1 we are going to check the show mouse pointer so with this service we can show the mouse pointer on the screen and it returns nothing when ax is equal to 2 we are going to hide the mouse pointer okay so it will it is not going to return nothing when we are talking about when we are passing the ax value as 4 then we are setting the mouse position okay so i'll talk about it later on ax is equal to 3 then you are going to check the button status which button is pressed left right center and no key is pressed likewise okay so this is ax is equal to 3 i will cover up this function as well that is the restricting restrict, restricting the mouse pointer in the horizontal and the vertical fashion okay so for example this is a rectangle okay so when ax is equal to 7 we are limiting the 
horizontal limit that is x1 and x2 okay and then if it is cx and dx okay cx and dx when ex is equal to 8 we are setting up the let's write it as what is y1 and y2 okay so it should be just writing y1 and y2 so it will be y1 and y2 okay so this limit has been set so within this rectangular region the so when we are using ax it will set up horizontal limit we are when we are setting up ax is equal to 8 then we are setting up uh, we are setting up the vertical limit and it, it returns nothing fine so these are the basic input that can be provided to the ex value 0 1 2 4 3 7 8 okay and against that the num the functions performed are also written so if you are passing ax is equal to 0 then you are checking up the mouse you are detecting the mouse whether it is installed or not ax is equal to 1 you are going to show the mouse pointer on the screen ax is equal to 2 you are going to hide the mouse pointer okay ax is equal to 4 set mouse position ax is equal to 3 mouse button press means with these activities you can work with these functionalities you can work when we when you are assigning these input to the ax values when ax is equal to 7 and ax is equal to 8 you are setting the horizontal and vertical limit of the pointer means simply you are restricting the mouse pointer okay so let's go these let's work with these functions one by one first understand them then i will show you with the help of a program okay so our first program checks to see if a mouse driver is loaded or not and that mouse programming is supported or not so that we can we are going to check whether mouse is working or mouse is initialized or not installed or not okay so <coughs> then only we can see the mouse programming can be supported we can work with the mouse or not so mouse driver is a program that senses the presence of the mouse and understands a signal coming from the mouse board before it translates these signals into the relevant action okay so this is a mouse driver is a program simply if some how mouse fails to initialize you should always make sure that either program terminates or employ a handling approach so whenever the, if the mouse is not initialized then you should prompt any message in the mouse is not initialized mouse is not installed please install the, install the mouse or you must be able to handle the error very cautiously if mouse is not supported okay so how we will write the function to detect whether the mouse is initialized or not so I have written this function that is this is the definition of this detect mouse okay so this is the function void detect mouse okay this is the variable that I told you of type racks so these are the two registers for taking input and the output okay so you are giving that I am going to detect the mouse with the service ax is equal to zero so in this manner you have to write it is predefined in dos dot h so this is the structure type okay that is x ax service is given then input that you are giving input so in this manner these are the members of the ax is the member of the union type rex okay so in the same manner you are going to write so the definition is very much clear whenever you are going to detect the mouse you are going to write or you are going to assign ex value is equal to zero to check the detection of the mouse in this manner only but this variable can be changed when you are defining your when you are defining the union type rex okay if you are typing union okay rex okay you can write here in i comma zero or you can write input complete let's say input and output so same variable you are going to use over here same variable you are going to use over here okay so 
I hope that you are able to understand. Now, this is the invoke of the interrupt. Okay, so that is the interrupt 86 to invoke the interrupt function. Okay, so this interrupt function that is int 86. So it is to invoke the interrupt value. This is the interrupt in the same manner you will write that is interrupt 86. So this is the function to invoke the interrupt for a hardware device. So interrupt function will take up three arguments that is the port value. Okay, here the port value is what that is of the mouse. I told you the mouse port value is 0x33 so it is given in hexadecimal value and it is the three variables that is the in and out and these two variables are red types variable okay so these three parameters will be par passed in this function now I am going to check over here that if the value of x dot ax is written with zero value out dot that is going to handle the output uh, register that is all written values are access using out okay that is why we have out dot x dot x is equal to zero in if statement okay so if it returns the zero value that is ax is equal to zero if it returns that two it is not assigning it is checking okay so if it it checks whether if it is returning the zero zero value then mouse is failed to initialize mouse is not initialized with the computer okay we cannot work with the mouse the mouse is not supported you can say any statement you can write away okay else if it is not so then if it returns fff all ones then mouse was successfully initialized okay so this function is defined so simply whenever we want to detect the mouse we will call this function and we will use this function like directly detect mouse okay simply we'll use this function by typing we'll call this function with detect like this wherever we require to detect the mouse so definition of the function is this okay and whenever we want to detect the mouse we'll call this function wherever it is required okay so next first function is declared so this is the strict and rigid definition that you are going to follow okay next is i'll also demonstrate it with the help of example uh, with the help of your with the code so showing a mouse now one more thing that mouse can be used in both in text mode and the graphic mode in both mode you can work with the mouse okay so if you are typing the code uh, if you are typing these functions simply without initializing the graphic mode then you are going to work in the text mode like a black console okay where you cannot draw the graphics when you switch on to the graphics mode then the graphics mode will get changed and you can work with the figures okay so what is the change that you can uh, easily view by looking at the by just rolling up the mouse so that you can easily identify whether you are working in the text mode or the graphics mode so the pointer changes out in text mode it looks like a square while in graphics mode it looks like a pointer okay in in the form of a arrow the way it is displayed right now so it will be a graphics mode pointer and if it will be if it is a square type something like this okay so then it will be a text mode pointer okay so when we are uh, writing void i have written a function over here so to show the mouse pointer 
in the in the previous slide i have detected the mouse now i want to once the mouse is initialized we have successfully uh, find out that mouse is supported now we are we are just showing the mouse okay pointer so when we are typing with the text mode so no initialization of the graphic mode, mode is done over here so simply the pointer will be this okay but here the same thing the function is written show graphics mode in it the initialization of the graphics mode is done rest of the function is same so we are using the service ax is equal to 1 to show the mouse pointer on the screen okay rest of the things you can see that is it is written interrupt is generated the very uh, the port number is passed variables are pa passed type of type a uh, union rights uh, okay then the service is used ax is equal to 1 so to show the mouse pointer we use the ax service ax is equal to 1 okay fine now uh, we use here uh, the hide mouse pointer how we can hide the mouse okay so if it is so if we do not want if we don't want to show the mouse pointer on the screen then we make use of the hide mouse function so whenever we are using the service ax is equal to 2 then we can hide the mouse so the definition of this function will be this using the service ax is equal to 2 so simply in a program when you are done with with the definition of this hide mouse you can simply call the hide mouse function okay so by typing wherever it is required to hide the mouse multiple times you can use this hide mouse and you can do okay then you can type show mouse okay the mouse pointer will be shown okay then again you want to hide the mouse hide mouse function will be called multiple times you can do once it is defined okay so this this is the definition for the hide mouse pointer now coming on to the last function that is how we can we now restrict the mouse in a particular rectangle i have already told you we create a function called restrict which takes four parameters two cartesian coordinate points each containing one x coordinate and one y coordinate first point mentions the top of the rectangle while second point mentions the bottom point of the a rectangle this service can be quite handy in special circumstances for example if you want to restrict your mouse in one particular size window in graphical user interface or in graphics programming okay so we will be using in such cases where the programming or certain cases occurs where you want to restrict the mouse pointer within a specified uh, region okay so let's uh, get into the code uh, how we are going to define the function okay so here you can see that it is defining int x1 y1 x2 and y2 okay x1 y1 x2 and y2 right so so when we are restricting the horizontally it is given x1 okay and x2 so these are the cx and dx are the registers that are holding the values of these x1 and x2 that you have passed over here in the restrict function okay and when you are using the service ax is equal to 7 means you are restricting it horizontally and when you are using the service ax is equal to at 8 then you are restricting it vertically and cx and dx are the registers that will be holding the values of x1 x2 y1 and y2 and this will interrupt invoke the interrupt to find out you are dealing with the mouse okay so this is the case now here i have tried to explain you with the help of certain example so that you can understand first thing that uh, you have initialized the graphics mode then you have um, i am assuming over here that you have provided all the definitions of different mouse functions that is detect mouse okay you have defined you have defined the show mouse you have defined the restrict mouse you have defined the hide mouse, hide mouse on top of this so here you have all the definitions provided 
उसके बाद आप इन फंक्शन को कॉल कर रहे हैं विद इन द मेन फंक्शन ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू योर यूसेज सो डेफिनेशन आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन सो हेयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव यूज रिस्ट्रिक्ट फंक्शन ओके सो रिस्ट्रिक्ट फंक्शन का डेफिनेशन क्या है ये दैट इज ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड अब एंड यू आर कॉलिंग इट एंड यू आर पासिंग इट एज ए हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड ओके सो द माउस pointer will be restricted within this region of 100 100 and 500 fine so this is the hide mouse detect mouse and show mouse so it will detect the mouse if it is supported okay if it is not supported other functions will not work if it is supported then it will going it is going to show the mouse okay and if we change the values so change values here to create different mouse movement space if i change these values then the restricted area will be increased or decreased accordingly okay so again this is detecting a mouse again it is hiding a mouse get ch and this is holding the screen then return zero so this was all about the theoretical concept of the various functions particularly i have covered here four major functions that is how to detect the mouse how to show the mouse pointer and how we can hide the mouse how hide the mouse and how we can restrict the mouse within a specified region now let's move with let's work with a live program so that you can understand in a better way so this one program i have written for you to make you understand the basic four functions so this is the part first of the mouse programming okay i'll explain you the next part with the next program that will cover up how to identify the position of a mouse and how the find out the button status to uh, to provide certain interactive with a click of a button so uh, let understand it line by line i told you that you have to include the header files you have use the graphics dot edge because you are going to work with the graphics mode okay if you are going to initialize the then dos dot edge to use the functions related to dos dot edge header file that is to dealing with the mouse you should include this header file okay here the union type rags is defined okay the two variables two registers are defined for to to give the input and to receive the output i i'm i think that now you are able to understand the code now the definition of the detect mouse function is defined over here with a service ax is equal to 0 okay with the ax service ax is equal to 0 interrupt is generated that is to for the mouse and the other two parameters input variable and output variable is passed to it now here i am checking to <coughs> whether the mouse in initialized or not so you are going to check it with the output okay output will be holding zero if this condition satisfies then mouse field is initialized mouse field to initialize means mouse is not supported if it returns one then the mouse is success successfully initialized okay so this is another function so don't confuse with this the function name here basically if it is written show mouse text so this the same service will be used for the same service will be used for the graphics mode functioning as well as for the uh, text mode functioning so with the name of the function don't get confused so this is the service that will allow you to show the mouse pointer on the screen so this is the definition void show moi mouse text in dot x dot ax so in the same manner you are going to write interrupt 86 0 x 33 ampersand in ampersand out and the closing of this so that is the show mouse pointer in text mode or the graphics mode in both mode it will be going to show okay another function that is using the service ax is equal to 2 that is hide mouse hiding mouse pointer okay so interrupt 86 so this is the case to hide the mouse pointer now 
restrict the mouse pointer i have given the definition that is a function name over here it is given restrict mouse pointer this function name can also be changed so it is not compulsory that you have to write the same function that will be your indication to which function you are using okay so restrict mouse pointer int x1 int y1 int x2 and y2 is given and you are using the ax is equal to 7 service to hold the mouse within the horizontal limit and ax is equal to 8 to horizontal to the vertical limit okay so this is the definition of the different functions that we are we are going to use in the main function okay so in the same manner you are going to write about these definitions okay so where you can make a change i told you that is the variable name you can change simply okay now here there is a function call there is a function call of these functions now here you can see first of all i am using the detect mouse function i am calling it up i am restricting all okay so i commented all right now <coughs> so means we are working in which, which mode right now in graphics mode we are working and we are detecting the mouse okay we are detecting the mouse so detect mouse function will check whether it is initialized or not and it will return accordingly with mouse is initialized or successfully initialized or it is failed so let's run it down okay let's run it down so you can see the mouse was successfully initialized so statement is printed means the mouse is installed with my system and i can work with the mouse right now i am work i am working okay fine so you can check it if you are working with a laptop or a uh, your uh, if you are using a compiler on your mobile phone then it will always show you the, the mouse is initialized because you are provided with a touchpad okay so if you are working with a pc let's say and if you are if you remove the mouse from the back then it may show it will show you that mouse is not initialized so in that case you have to attach the mouse to it okay so it will work in such cases where the uh, normal pcs okay so now detect mouse is over now now i want to show the mouse pointer in the graphics mode because it's still the graphics mode is active okay so let's uh, activate it and run it okay as i told you that it is covering the complete screen right now okay and it is covering up the complete screen uh, right now and it is showing a pointer okay so arrow pointer it is shown so it we are working in the graphics mode fine now let's uh, move on to the text mode if i disable the means now i am not in the graphics mode i have switched towards the text mode so let's see what in what manner the pointer will get changed let run now here you can see mouse was successfully initialized and this mouse pointer is changed into the rectangle okay so now it means we are working in the text mode right now okay so we can also okay same these functions will also work with the hide mouse as well as restrict mouse pointer will also work with the text mode as well okay so let's work in the text mode only right now so if i enable the restrict mouse pointer that is the region that is 10 10 100 100 within this region the pointer will be restricted but we are working in the graphics mo mode so the the pointer will be rectangle okay so mouse icon will be a rectangle let's say run it okay so you can see that now it is not moving out of this area okay it is not moving out of this area so means we are working in the text mode with the help of a pointer you can identify okay and the restrict mouse pointer is also working with this text mode okay now we can also go with the hide mouse once i will hide the mouse then i will hold the screen okay then again i will show mouse show mouse text function that will allow us to 
show the mouse pointer again okay let's run it okay it is hide with the press of the enter it is shown okay hide mouse pointer show show mouse pointer it is very quick to run that is why directly it is hidden one after another if i will restrict here also if i'll get show mouse pointer and restrict mouse pointer then and if i press the enter let's say i should change the code with some understandability alt r so here you can see that mouse mouse is restricted restricted within this region okay and now if i'll press a enter then the mouse will hide mouse is hidden and if i again press the enter then the mouse is available okay so in this manner you are can handle the mouse in the text mode okay so again let's make it a comment so that i can able to understand about the now i will switch on to the graphics mode okay now i have shown you the detect mouse detect mouse in the gra graphics mode show mouse text in the graphics mode and restrict mouse pointer in the graphics mode i'm going to show you so this is 10 10 100 100 now see the mouse pointer is restricted within this region 100 and 10 and 100 okay so same you can work with the hide mouse okay i am activating this okay on a uh, so you can see it is and when i press enter then it is hidden okay now again if i want to show the mouse pointer then with the activation of this code the mouse is restricted enter it is hidden once again enter it is available on the screen okay so i hope i am i am able to make you understand the working of these four functions how to handle the mouse through interbo c and how to enable the functionality different functionalities of the mouse so we are left with the ma two major functions of the mouse programming that is getting the mouse position exactly where we have placed the mouse and as well as which button has been pressed of the mouse to get the button status so we will cover up i'll cover up these two functions in the next lecture